Hey everyone, welcome to Unlock Your Financial Freedom. I'm excited to partner with Smart Simplified to bring you these 11 proven strategies to take control of your money and achieve financial peace. We're gonna dive deep into practical steps you can take today to start winning with money, whether you're just starting out or you've been managing money for years. No matter where you are in your financial journey, these principles will empower you to make smart decisions and build a strong financial future. Over these next few chapters, we're gonna cover everything from budgeting and debt to investing and giving. We'll talk about getting on a budget, getting out of debt, and living a life of financial peace. We'll cover how to make your money work for you so that you can build wealth and leave a legacy. So buckle up and get ready to take control of your money. The first step to achieving financial freedom is to understand where your money is going. It's like trying to lose weight without tracking your calorie intake. You're just walking around in the dark. You can't fix what you don't track. Start by writing down every dollar you spend for a month. Use a budgeting app, a spreadsheet, or even just a good old fashioned notebook. Categorize your spending so you can see where your money is actually going. This might be an eye-opening experience, but I promise it's crucial. Once you see where your money is going, you can start to make changes. Identify areas where you're overspending, like eating out or entertainment. Remember, awareness is power. This isn't about deprivation, it's about making intentional choices with your money. Now that you have a clear picture of your spending habits, it's time to create a budget. A budget is simply telling your money where to go instead of wondering where it went. It's about being intentional with every dollar you earn. Start by listing your income for the month. Then allocate every dollar to a specific category like housing, food, transportation, and debt payments. Don't forget to include savings goals like your emergency fund or retirement. Make sure your budget is realistic and sustainable. It's okay to start small and make adjustments as needed. This is about taking control of your financial future. Having clear financial goals is crucial for staying motivated on your journey to financial freedom. Without goals, you're just wandering aimlessly through your finances. You need a destination in mind. Think about what you want to achieve with your money. Do you want to buy a house, pay off debt, retire early? Write down your goals, both short-term and long-term. Dreams give you vision and goals give you a target. Don't be afraid to dream big, but make sure your goals are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. For example, Instead of saying, I want to save more money, set a specific goal like I want to save $5,000 for a down payment on a house in the next two years. Once you have your big picture goals, break them down into smaller, more manageable steps. This will make your goals feel less daunting and more attainable. If you want to pay off $20,000 in debt, start by focusing on paying off one debt at a time. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. Financial freedom is a marathon, not a sprint. Celebrate your small victories along the way. It will help you stay motivated and on track. Most importantly, make sure your goals align with your values. If you're working towards something you truly care about, you'll be more likely to stick with it. This isn't just about money. It's about living a life that is meaningful to you. We're gonna talk about your emergency fund, folks. This ain't about getting a new set of golf clubs or that fancy handbag. This is about protecting yourself from life's unexpected punches. You never know when you might get hit with a job loss, a medical emergency, or a busted water heater. Those things happen, and they sure can throw your finances into a tailspin if you're not prepared. An emergency fund is like having a financial shield. It's that peace of mind knowing you can cover those unexpected costs without going into debt without racking up those credit card bills that'll haunt you for years. You're building a foundation for financial freedom, and that starts with being prepared for the unexpected. So let's dive into how to build that emergency fund step by step. First things first, I want you to start small. Don't get overwhelmed thinking you need tens of thousands of dollars right away. Even $500 or $1,000 in the bank is a great start. Next. Make saving for your emergency fund a non-negotiable part of your budget. Treat it like any other bill that has to be paid every single month. Consistency is key, folks. Now, where can you find that extra cash? Look for areas where you can cut back. Can you brown bag your lunch a couple of times a week? 
maybe skip that daily latte, small sacrifices add up. Remember, this is about making your money work for you, not the other way around. Building that emergency fund is a huge step towards taking control of your finances and securing your future. Debt. It's like a giant weight holding you back from achieving your financial dreams. But we're going to break free from those chains, folks. And we're going to do it strategically with the debt snowball method. Here's how it works. List out all your debts from smallest to largest regardless of interest rates. Now attack that smallest debt with a vengeance. Throw every extra dollar you have at it while making minimum payments on everything else. Why start small? Because it creates momentum. Once you pay off that first debt, you'll feel a surge of energy and motivation. It's like a psychological win that keeps you going. And that's what we want. We want you fired up and ready to tackle the next debt on your list. You take that money you were putting towards the first debt and roll it into the next one, creating a snowball effect. Now I know paying off debt can be a long and sometimes challenging journey, but let me tell you the feeling of being debt free is absolutely worth it. To stay motivated, celebrate your wins along the way. Every time you pay off a debt, no matter how small, acknowledge your progress. Treat yourself to something small, guilt free. Remember, this is about changing your mindset and developing healthy financial habits. It's about taking control of your money instead of letting it control you. So keep your eye on the prize, stay focused, and know that I'm right here with you every step of the way. We're gonna get you debt free and well on your way to financial peace. Let's talk about investing folks. And no, I'm not talking about picking hot stocks or trying to time the market. I'm talking about building long-term wealth through the incredible power of compounding. Think of compounding like a snowball rolling downhill. It starts small, but as it gathers more snow, it grows bigger and bigger, gaining momentum. That's the beauty of compound growth. When you invest your money, it has the potential to earn interest and dividends. But here's the kicker. Those earnings can then be reinvested, generating even more earnings over time. The earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to compound and grow exponentially. It's like planting a tree. The best time to plant was yesterday, but the second best time is today. Now, before you jump into the world of investing, it's crucial to do your homework. Don't just blindly follow the crowd or listen to some slick salesperson. I want you to understand the different types of investments and their associated risks. Consider low-cost index funds, which are like a diversified basket of stocks that can help mitigate risk. And remember, investing should be boring. We're not looking for get-rich-quick schemes. We're talking about slow, steady growth over the long haul. So sit down with a financial advisor you trust, someone who's got a heart of a teacher, and create a solid investment plan that aligns with your goals and risk tolerance. Living below your means is the cornerstone of financial freedom. It's not about deprivation. It's about being in control of your money instead of letting it control you. You work hard for your money. Don't let it slip through your fingers on things you don't need. The first step is to track your spending. You need to see where your money is going every single month. You might be surprised by how much you're spending on things like eating out or entertainment. That's money that could be going toward your debt snowball or your investments. Once you know where your money is going, you can start making changes. Create a budget and stick to it. It doesn't have to be complicated, but you need a plan for your money. This will help you make conscious decisions about your spending. Remember, living below your means is a marathon, not a sprint. It takes time to develop new habits, but the payoff is huge. The sooner you start, the sooner you'll be on your way to financial peace. One of the biggest obstacles to living below your means is the constant pressure to keep up with the Joneses. We're bombarded with messages that tell us we need the latest gadgets, the biggest houses, and the fanciest clothes. But I'm here to tell you that stuff doesn't equal happiness. True contentment comes from living within your means and being grateful for what you have. When you're content, you're not constantly chasing after the next big thing. You're able to focus on what's truly important in life, like spending time with loved ones and pursuing your passions. Living below your means frees you from the chains of debt and financial stress. It allows you to sleep soundly at night, knowing that you're in control of your finances. It also gives you the freedom to pursue your dreams without being held back by financial limitations. 
So ditch the comparison game and focus on what truly matters. Embrace a simpler, more intentional lifestyle and watch your financial freedom soar. Increasing your income is like adding fuel to the fire of your financial freedom journey. The more you earn, the faster you can pay off debt, save and invest, propelling you towards your goals. Don't limit yourself to just one source of income. Explore ways to diversify. This could mean taking on a side hustle, starting a small business, or finding creative ways to monetize your skills and passions. Remember, diversifying your income streams isn't just about making more money. It's about creating financial security. If one income stream dries up, you have others to fall back on. This is crucial for weathering unexpected storms and building a solid financial foundation. Explore your options, think outside the box, and don't be afraid to try new things. The possibilities for increasing your income are endless if you're willing to put in the effort. The most valuable investment you can make is in yourself. By enhancing your skills and knowledge, you increase your earning potential and open doors to new opportunities. Consider taking courses, attending workshops, or pursuing certifications in your field. This demonstrates your commitment to growth and makes you a more competitive candidate in the job market. Never underestimate the power of networking. Attend industry events, connect with people on LinkedIn, and reach out to those you admire. Building strong professional relationships can lead to valuable insights, mentorship, and even job offers. Remember, investing in yourself is an ongoing process. Continuously seek ways to expand your knowledge, refine your skills, and stay ahead of the curve. The more you invest in yourself, the greater your earning potential becomes. Retirement might seem far off, but it's never too early to start planning. The sooner you begin, the more time your money has to grow, thanks to the power of compound interest. Even small contributions add up over time, so don't underestimate the impact of starting early. Remember, the key is consistency. Make saving for retirement a non-negotiable part of your budget, just like paying your bills. Explore different retirement savings plans, such as 401, Ks, or IRAs, and choose the one that aligns with your financial goals. If your employer offers a matching contribution, take full advantage of it. It's free money. Retirement planning is about taking control of your future and ensuring financial security in your golden years. Don't delay, start planning today, and enjoy peace of mind knowing that you're on track for a comfortable retirement. Retirement isn't just about finances. It's about enjoying the fruits of your labor and living life on your own terms. Take some time to envision your ideal retirement. What do you want to do? Where do you want to live? Having a clear vision will motivate you to save and make your retirement dreams a reality. Consider your hobbies, passions, and interests. Retirement is an opportunity to pursue those things you've always wanted to do but never had the time or resources for. Think about your living situation. Do you want to downsize, relocate, or stay in your current home? Factor these considerations into your retirement plan. Remember, retirement is a new chapter, a time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor and live life to the fullest. Plan wisely, dream big, and embrace the exciting possibilities that await. We're hitting this head on, folks. You've worked your tails off to get your finances in order, you're paying off debt, and you're investing for the future. But let me tell you, life throws curveballs, and sometimes those curveballs come with a hefty price tag. That's where insurance comes in. Look, I'm not talking about those fancy insurance policies trying to sell you the moon. I'm talking about the essentials, health insurance, car insurance, and homeowners or renters insurance. These are non-negotiable. You need them to protect yourself and your family from financial disaster. Imagine this, you're in a car accident and you don't have adequate insurance. You could be on the hook for thousands, tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of dollars in medical bills and repairs. Are you sweating yet? Because I am. Don't let that be you. Be smart, be proactive, and get yourself properly insured. It's not about living in fear, it's about having peace of mind, knowing that you're protected if the unexpected happens. Now let's talk about two types of insurance that often get overlooked, disability insurance and life insurance. You might think you don't need them, especially if you're young and healthy. But trust me folks, 
These are critical components of a solid financial plan. Disability insurance is there to replace a portion of your income if you become too sick or injured to work. Think about it, if you couldn't work for an extended period, how would you pay your bills? How would you put food on the table? Disability insurance provides that safety net. Life insurance is equally crucial, especially if you have people who depend on you financially. If something were to happen to you, life insurance would provide a financial cushion for your loved ones. It could help cover funeral expenses, pay off debts, and even replace your income so your family can maintain their standard of living. Look, I know talking about insurance isn't as exciting as picking out a new car or planning a dream vacation. But believe me, it's just as important, if not more so. It's about protecting your financial future and the well-being of your loved ones. So don't wait. Get the coverage you need today. We're talking about building a life of financial peace, folks. And that starts with your mindset. You see, a growth mindset is like having a financial superpower. It's about believing that you can learn, grow, and improve your financial situation, no matter where you're starting from. Listen, I've seen folks stuck in a rut thinking they're just bad with money. Hogwash. You can learn this stuff just like anything else. It's about being open to new ideas, seeking out knowledge, and not being afraid to make mistakes. Remember, financial literacy is not something they teach you in school. You gotta take charge of your own education, read books, listen to podcasts, and find mentors who can guide you. The more you learn, the more confident you become in your ability to make sound financial decisions. A growth mindset is all about embracing challenges as opportunities for growth. So don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone, try new things, and learn from your experiences. Because when you believe you can improve, you open yourself up to a world of possibilities. Now, life throws curveballs, right? Unexpected expenses pop up, the economy takes a hit, or maybe you make a financial misstep. It happens to the best of us. But here's where the growth mindset really shines. See, folks with a growth mindset, they don't crumble under pressure. They see setbacks as temporary and use them as opportunities to learn and adapt. They bounce back stronger, armed with new knowledge and strategies. Financial resilience is about having the mental fortitude to navigate those tough times. It's about having an emergency fund to cushion the blow, but it's also about having the right mindset to adapt and overcome. So the next time you face a financial challenge, don't despair. Embrace the opportunity to learn, grow, and come out stronger on the other side. Remember, financial freedom is a journey, not a destination, and a growth mindset will be your compass along the way. We've talked about getting your own financial house in order, and that's crucial. But you know what? True wealth isn't just about how much money you have in the bank, it's about the impact you make on the world around you. Giving back to your community, whether it's through your time, talents, or treasure, is one of the most rewarding things you can do. It's about living a life of purpose, knowing that you're making a difference in the lives of others. Now, some folks think they can't afford to give back until they're rolling in dough, but that's just plain wrong. You can start small, right where you are. Volunteer at a local charity, donate to a cause you believe in, or simply lend a helping hand to someone in need. Generosity has a funny way of coming back around. When you give freely, you open yourself up to receive blessings in unexpected ways. Plus, it just feels darn good to make a difference. Think about the legacy you want to leave behind. Do you want to be remembered as someone who only cared about themselves or as someone who made a positive impact on the world? Giving back is about more than just writing a check. It's about investing in something bigger than yourself. It's about leaving the world a better place than you found it. Now, this doesn't have to be complicated. Maybe you're passionate about education, so you mentor a young person, or maybe you care about the environment, so you support organizations working to protect our planet. Find what lights you up and find a way to contribute. Remember folks, true wealth isn't measured in dollars and cents, but in the impact you have on the lives of others. So get out there, make a difference, and leave a legacy that will inspire generations to come. Well, folks, we've come to the end of this journey together, and I gotta tell you, I'm fired up for you. You've learned about taking control of your money, ditching debt, investing wisely, and building a life of financial peace. But remember, this is just the beginning. 
The real work starts now. It's time to take what you've learned and put it into action. Remember, consistency is key. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. And hey, share this video with your friends and family. Let's spread the message of financial hope and freedom far and wide. Remember, you got this. Now go out there and live that debt-free, financially free life you were designed to live.